I was watching a question and answer video from Keith Brown, and one of the questions that he answered was who he would like to collaborate with. And to be honest, it kind of surprised me that it was me. And so I left him a comment saying I'd be happy to. All we'd need to do is figure out a project that we could both do, since of course I'm here in Canada and he's in the UK. And eventually we settled on making a chair from a single sheet of plywood. So as you can see from the title, I decided to make Adirondack chairs. And originally I was just gonna make one, but as I was drawing it out, I could see that maybe possibly I could get two out of a full sheet. So I slightly changed the size of some parts. And as you can see here from the drawing, it's pretty tight. Tight. There's not much waste here. Now the plywood that I'm using is three quarter inch spruce sheathing. It's about the cheapest grade of plywood that you can get here. And of course it's not furniture grade as you can see, but I think it's gonna be perfectly fine for this. So the first thing I had to do with this sheet was to cut it into three strips so that I'd have pieces that are more manageable and easier to handle. And then I started to lay out the parts. Now the first one that I did was the armrest and a lot of that I just freehand drew or used various things in my shop to make the curves. The objective is to make it look good. It really doesn't have to match up exactly with what's in the drawing. And then after I cut that out with the jigsaw, I use that to lay out the other three. I basically use just four tools to cut out all these parts. Primarily though, I use the jigsaw. And the thing to remember about cutting out parts for a piece of lawn furniture is that you're not making fine furniture here. The cuts don't have to be perfect. They don't even really need to be straight. It all adds to the organic look of the project, I think. But of course, to make the straight cuts, I use my table saw because it's faster. And to square off the ends, I use my miter saw once again because that's faster. But everything I did here could be done with just a jigsaw. And then when I had all of the parts cut out, I could wheel out my router table and round over the corners on the parts that need it. To begin assembly, I'm fastening the front leg to the back leg, and that's measured back five and a quarter from the front. If you're interested in building this project, as I've done here, there's a free SketchUp model available to download from my website, there's a link in the description. The only thing is though, that it's just a model and you'll have to be familiar with SketchUp to get the measurements from it. But after you do that, you shouldn't have any problem whatsoever building this exact chair. Even if you don't build it from plywood, I think this would look really good made out of cedar. 
I'm using construction adhesive in all the joints whenever possible. And what that does is it helps to keep the parts together, of course. And it also keeps the water out of the joint. Even though I'm gonna finish these chairs with stain after I'm done, it doesn't seep into those joints. After I got the two side frames assembled, I put it up on my table saw workbench. I fastened the stretchers that connect the two frames together. And then next I want to put on the back slats because I won't be able to dry the screws on the bottom if the seat slats are already installed. And I'm not going to be using any glue on these or the seat slats. My thinking here is that these are going to flex too much anyway and they'll just break the glue joint and open it up so it's really not going to make that much of a difference. Now since this is all plywood you really have to drill pilot holes for every screw and you really want to aim for the center of the plywood as much as possible. And I don't think that making it out of plywood is a real compromise for the strength of it. I believe these chairs are going to be around for many years to come, even with regular use. And this is exterior grade plywood. And even if you leave the chairs outdoors continuously, I think they'll hold up just fine. The final part to put on the chair is actually the first one that I started cutting out and it's the armrest and that gets held on with three screws to the front leg and then that bracket and then two screws through the back and then after I had the back put on I cut out another small block and I glued that on underneath and drove screws through and that'll add a lot of strength to that joint. And then I took it out to my backyard and I sprayed on two coats of a transparent stain. And the color that I'm using here is called cedar. And it's looking a little bit more orange in this video than it does in real life. But then this is only the first coat here. After the second coat went on, it darkened up a little bit and evened out. And I think it looks really good. Anyway, like I said, at the beginning of the video, this is part of a collaboration with Keith Brown. He made his own chair from plywood, and there's a link to that in the description. I recommend that you go and watch that video and subscribe to his channel as well.